Good afternoon, everyone. My name again is Ahmed Sadek. I'm from Qualcomm. And yes, I think you all know Qualcomm for CDMA and all of the chips that goes into most of the mobile devices. Uh, but actually, Qualcomm has a big automotive business and for actually many, many years. Uh, of course, we are uh, uh, first in telematics, uh, so all of the connectivity stuff, uh, 4G, 5G, but uh, also in the infotainment industry for a long time. And yes, it's true, ADAS is the newest addition, but uh, you probably saw in the news, GM Ultra Cruise is, is running, uh, is being announced to be using Qualcomm chips. Uh, we have a, a collaboration with BMW for uh, development of next generation ADAS and autonomy system and most recently, uh, Volkswagen. So yes, we are new, but we are really running very fast. So today, I'm gonna talk about a specific, um, uh, autonomous driving is a challenging problem in general, but I'm gonna talk about specific challenges for AI uh, in autonomous driving. So um, the need of intelligent personalized experiences, of course, is in all the devices we are using, smartphones, smart homes, video conferences, and, and so on. And, and Qualcomm is working in, in all of these areas. Uh, but really, autonomous driving, as you think about it, is one of the most complex AI problems and most of the complex system problems. Um, to build a fully autonomous car, uh, the, the number of, and diversity of the sensors that you need from cameras, radar, some use LIDARs, um, IMU, GNSS, V2X are extremely diverse in their modality, extremely diverse in their input characteristics, and also in their KPI requirements. 